down to explore a couple more slot canyons. One is called uh, Zebra and the other is called Tunnel. Supposed to have some water in them. It might get a little exciting. We made it to the zebra slot. It's starting to skinny up about now. Here, check this out. Just so you know, that water is freezing. I'm glad I'm not any fatter. Yeah, well just keep in mind I'm fatter. little things are I believe what they're calling uh, moki balls I think that they're iron I'll have to look it up but I'm pretty sure it's iron and they're hollow on the inside check this guy out Isn't that cool the moki balls that I was talking about I believe this is them inside of the uh, kind of encased in the sandstone We're approaching tunnel slot right now Looks like it's going to be kind of dark in there. The sand's a little wet around here too. I don't know what that means. Uh, should be kind of interesting. And take a look. Brothers well, ankle deep. And there's knee deep, and then there's what you call it deep. And what you call it deep is when you go. Okay, for the record, that was what you call it deep. Whew, that's cold, cold, cold. The trailhead for Zebra and Tunnel Slot Canyons are approximately eight miles down Hole in the Rock Road from Highway 12, just east of Escalante, Utah. The parking lot is on the west side of the road. I've included the GPS coordinates, but the trail to and from is pretty hard to miss. It has got to be one of the most beautiful walks in the area, that's for sure. Just prior to entering Zebra, you will find the Moki Balls or Moki Marbles in the wash. Zebra is a short and very narrow slot with amazing deco bands running its length. Tunnel, on the other hand, is even shorter, only a few hundred feet long, and from what I hear, usually has water in it about waist deep. 
Remember to check the forecast above you and for the watershed that feeds the canyon you intend on entering before you go. Take this little bit of advice very seriously. What do we say? Slurpee! Until next time. <laughs> See? Slurpee!